opening statement and go right into questions. Well, I think you saw two great teams battling each other, especially at the defensive end of the floor. I was so proud of our guys. We got off to such a great start offensively. I think 36 points for us at the half ha has to be uh, against Virginia, the highest point total in a half we've ever had. Uh, the second half, they locked us down, and, and uh, we weren't able to score quite as consistently, but our defense was ready for the task, and uh, our field goal percentage defense at, and from two and from three was outstanding. Uh, great ending, two-point game with them having a, a chance to tie it up and put it into overtime or win it, and our guys, uh, Isaiah Wong's defense, you know, his offense is incredible, but his defense was uh, up for the challenge, and we're very, very happy with the win. Coach, we talked about the energy in the arena this whole year. Just how important was that tonight against the team? Oh, uh, I was so impressed with the crowd. And, you know, the, the arena, it's not that big, you know, 8,000. And I don't know how many were there tonight. Anybody know that? How much? Yeah. 7,200. 7,200. So, and, and they were loud. Yeah. And they were loud right from the very beginning. And I'm inviting them to come back because I, I love that kind of support. Can you talk about Isaiah again? You know, just even when other guys are slumping a little, he always just hangs in there. And, and just also, secondly, just how big of a win is this to, to beat Virginia? Well, he, here's the thing. I, I told the players there are three very important words we needed to focus on. The first was believe. Believe in yourself. All right. The second was trust. Trust your teammates. Trust the game plan. And then third, confidence. And, and confidence can come and go. Yeah, you miss a couple of shots, all of a sudden you start questioning. I didn't want them doing that. I knew this was going to be a very close game. We needed, we needed everybody's focus to be on the very positive. All right? So the, the belief the, the uh, trust and the confidence from start to finish. And we basically led from start to finish. They, they had the two-point lead on us, and then uh, they never took the lead again. And uh, the way the game ended, they did a great job. We were up 10 with under four minutes to go. I'm not sure how much. We had, it was four when we were up 10. And uh, we didn't have Norshed O'Meara. So there was great concern, but the guys who were out there did a great job. And, you know, we, we missed some free throws, but we made some free throws. And the whole idea is the, the, the players gave us a nice Christmas present. A little early, but we'll take it. And Isaiah, it just in general. He's great. He's a great player. I mean, the, the, the thing about him, I say all the time, is he's that way every single day. All right? He's got a... a great mentality he's got a great work ethic he's a great teammate and he's just so much fun to coach and be around what's to say about the team that you know like you kind of touching on a second ago that they you know took those punches virginia made a few runs and you know made the game close again and they kind of they still held on yeah i th i think we've been very good closing out games unfortunately being up 10 wasn't enough <laughs> because you got to give virginia a lot of credit you know, one of the things they do better than anybody we've played is they get to the foul line. I don't know how many free throws they had and how, what they shot. I think Alex probably can tell me. They shot 46%. They shot what? 36%. And then the from, from the free throw line. 14 and 19. Uh, 73%. They shot 14 for 19. You know, that's not as many as I thought because it seemed like, you know, like we fouled them on the three-point shot late in the game. We fouled them on the layup late in the game. And so, you know, they erased a 10-point lead with basically making three free throws and making uh, a layup and got fouled and making another free throw. So uh, we'd like to do a better job, but, you know, the defense can't complain about it because it was very consistently good throughout the game. Coach, what do you think the team did so well in the first five minutes of the first half and the second half, and what were you most impressed with in the team for the first half? Yeah, I thought the, the first five minutes of the game really dictated how our guys would feel about themselves. They got off to such a great start. We were running and, and sharing the ball and moving quickly. And, and then that we had a lull where we were probably dribbling too much and trying to go one-on-one -on -one against the pack defense is never a good idea. 
And, and then, again, we picked it up. The subs were great. Bensley, Joseph was sensational. A.J. Casey probably had his best game. Uh, the assist that he got to North Shadow Mir was big. His defense was excellent. He got a couple of very uh, good traffic rebounds. And um, his I don't know how many minutes he played, but he had, he had a play like uh, 10 or 12 minutes. It might be his career high minutes played. Did you play 13 minutes? 13 minutes. That was the whole key to the game. How many times have you heard me say, you know, our offense is good. We have to improve the defense and the rebounding. And today, we I don't know where the rebound total was. We were ahead at the half. But the defense was good throughout. His jumping ability is ridiculous. I don't know if you saw one of those rebounds he got. He, he was like not, not just above the rim. He was above the box. You know, he, he's a tremendous athlete. I love his effort at the defensive end. He's really focused on that. I've encouraged him to shoot 15-footers instead of so many threes. I don't mind him shooting threes when he's open. I don't, I don't like when he, he dribbles the ball back out so he can launch a three instead of just going to the elbow and making a two. But he's the happiest kid, and he's doing a great job. He and Bensley are our two sophomores, and they're doing great. And uh, you know what? You need a team effort, and you need guys to, to play their role. And Wooger is playing his role very, very well. To end the game, whenever Norshad fouled out, how much time was left then? He had to play the four. He never played the four in practice or in a game this season. But we trust him, and he did a terrific job again. Got time for one more. Coach, you've always demonstrated a lot of confidence in Luka and Bensley ever since they were freshmen, you know, giving them minutes in, in, the, in the March tournament. Uh, you know, have you seen them leave, you know, you know the on-ball defense and, you know, just their – yeah, I, I would say the greatest emphasis is most, most players come in, just like Bensley and Wooga, with a tremendous set of offensive scoring ability. We need to imp them to improve their defense. Freshmen are notorious for not being able to defend. And it's not that they can't guard their man. They have to learn team defense. All right, so they're helping their teammate. And that's what Virginia does so well, and that's what Bensley and Wooga are starting to do. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. I'll see you.